hello guys and welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new to my channel hello and welcome to my channel my name is Sama. so in this video i want to share about this um nigerian singer a lot of us may know him i can call him an activist because he's used this platform to speak up about a lot of things in nigeria injustice and all of those things and uh, recently uh, there's a post that was going around um that he has kidney failure and he's been on a dialysis for a while and he needs a kidney transplant and uh, as it stands well the peculiar thing about it is that he's getting his surgery done in Lagos, Nigeria. And a lot of Nigerians are known for you know, trying to go abroad for better chance of survival. Let me put it that way. There's, I don't think there's another way to push it, you know, because uh, our health system is, I, I don't even know, you know, how to even talk about it. But anyways, so um, he's about to go for this surgery. And so far, his family member, a family member is already available to donate a kidney for him right and i think it brings us back to the story of uh, a lot of us know about the nigerian politician that is held in the uk for taking a boy from nigeria all the way to the uk because he wanted to get uh, one of his kidneys for his unwell daughter and i remember a lot of people were saying that why did they have to go for a complete stranger rather than a family member he has three other children he has his wife he has himself you know why didn't one of them try to donate but in this case a family member i think they even said his wife is the one that's about to donate one of her kidneys for him right okay massive difference and um, you know i'm actually going to share a link to his gofundme if you are led and you want to be of help to this guy please help um, you know help donate you know let, let's be honest the everyday nigerian you know cannot afford to go to london like the politicians can go and he has no choice but to go for a GoFundMe. Well, our politicians have good income and their families can school abroad, healthcare abroad, kidney transplant, they go abroad and all of those. A fellow Nigerian cannot afford to go abroad and he's doing, he's getting his surgery done in Nigeria and uh, taking the risk because I remember I was reading comments and somebody was like, oh, uh, he better go and do it abroad or that he may even, they may even start the surgery and the Nepal will take light. Uh, this may happen, they may happen, please, they should advise him not to do it in Nigeria. It's not safe to do it in Nigeria and all of those things. But he's brave enough to do it. I personally would advise going abroad, to be honest with you. And, uh, you know, so he's about to get his surgery done. Before I forget, like I said, I don't want to forget to talk about his GoFundMe. If you're led and you want to donate whatever you want to donate, no matter how little you can donate, this guy has been vocal about a lot of stuff. And SARS, he was up there. A lot of the injustice, police brutality, a lot of stuff happening in Nigeria. This guy is one of those voices that you do not want to be gone anytime soon. Do you know what I mean? Because, uh, you know, we talk about the future, but these are the people who want to be present, you know, in the future we are expecting to have for Nigeria. And uh, he's getting this thing done. Let me read some of his posts he made on uh, Facebook. This is his post. Hello, everybody. My name is Idris of the Korean Ambassador's best friend. I want to thank you all for all your prayers and your support. And I just want you all to know that I'm in strong spirit. I'm going to come out of this successfully by the grace of Almighty Allah. Thank you for your love and your support. I really appreciate you all. Love you so much. Today I am on my dialysis section and it takes about three to four hours. And immediately after the dialysis section, I go out to do my normal daily activities. So I'm strong with spirit, body and soul. And I'm still doing my appearances and I'm still out there doing my thing. Thank you so, so, so much. I want you to all know and your prayers and, and support is appreciated. God bless you. I'm sure I shared it as well. And then I read this comment somebody left. This person left a comment on that show. Let me read. Show sure, me posted it and said, Brother Idris Abdul Karim needs your help. We must not abandon him. And uh, somebody left this comment and said, Just two people in the entertainment industry can take care of his medical bills. Most people take delight in writing eulogy, tributes, and singing during funeral uh, than saving a life. It is my hope that Idris will find mercy and get back to his feet. Stay strong, man. Look at this comment says, A true freedom fighter shall witness the new Nigeria by God's grace. Because like I said, he's not someone that you want to be living anytime soon. Because uh, he's uh, one of the new generation voices we have in Nigeria. So the truth is this. Situations like this give us reason to talk about our country and the situation of the country. Kidney failure can happen to anyone anywhere in the world. And you know what I mean? But the thing is, when we look at our health system, and you think about the fact that so many people will not try to do it in Nigeria. They want to go abroad. Because of the fear of the... Okay, 
Let me, let me not even go into all of that because more aspect of these things are just very painful to talk about. And at the same time, it brings us to talking about the fact that you may think that a general problem is not your problem because you're okay at the moment until you find yourself in that situation. And you will realize that the problem of the country is your problem. A good country is good for everyone. A good country is something everybody should aspire, you know, to have. Like him, he has been one of the vocal people. There are some people that will say, ah, we support the present, the present government, we support this, we support that. And it takes something like this for them to realize that, okay, this government that I'm supporting, have actually not made this country suitable for me, for the well-being of members of my family. For how long will people keep wanting the basic things? Good road, good health care, quality education, uh, um, without us striking left, right and center. And a lot of the problems in the country. These are the things we're speaking about. Somebody like him that has been vocal. There's no way he knew he was going to end up having kidney failure. But he knew there was a problem in the country and he's been vocal about it, speaking against the corruption and the looting and everything going on. I keep saying it, there are, unfortunately, no matter how bad the government is, there are some people that will be there and try to support that government because for whatever reason, they've not found themselves in situations where they realize how bad the government is doing, how bad the situation of the country is, how bad things are and how bad things are getting. The other day somebody was saying it, that Look at other countries. They're like, they are better now than they were before. But in Nigeria, it's like Nigeria was better before than it is now. People will say, I oh, remember when we had so so and so. I remember somebody the other day that rang in. I do this live thing where I just chat with people. There's nothing, it's not like YouTube or Facebook. When I say chat, typically people call into the live show through the Facebook. They request to join. That's how, and then they join. And they get the chance, people get the chance. That, that particular, when I do it, I'm not the one really doing the talking. People that ring in are the one to say whatever they want to talk about. There's this, you know, man that uh, was talking about how when he was younger, they used to have free food in school. There was free, this, free, that. To imagine that, this is even before 1977. I think 1973 or something like that. Nigeria was better in 1973 than it is now. When the so-called developed part of the world, they are better now than they were in 1973. A friend of mine that was living in the same country with me went to Nigeria and uh, for like one year and came back, she was like, whoa, that building was not there. This road was not here. Within one year, she came back. The whole place was better than it looked before. Nigeria, you will see fine road. You now go to visit Nigeria. That road has become Porto Porto Road. How do you say Porto Porto? Potholes. There are potholes left, right, and center, mud. And you'll be like, I'm not be so this week. Things are not getting better, they are getting worse. I'm not be saying we don't get money. That country is rich. But the money is in the hands of a few. But let me tell you, there are a lot of people that have died in Nigeria that if they were living in a country where healthcare was okay, they would be alive. What kills people most in Nigeria is poverty and the complete deterioration of the whole country. That's what kills people. Do that's what kills people. People go into hospital and they say, Doctor, no day here. Uh, they, we, what can we do? We don't have oxygen. We don't have this one. We don't have. Th You've seen Nigerian dog soldiers operating on somebody and never takes the light of a hospital. Let's even say there's no light in the estate or whatever, streets. But they say, Okay, we will never take the lights of hospitals. Can we not do that as a country? Uh, let's never take light. And soldiers are using their phones as light you know nigerian story sometimes is so it's such a sad story to share i wanted to use the opportunity to share about this guy and give everybody opportunity if you touch to want to contribute to us is go fund me please do contribute and we can also pray for him and uh, whatever way you can support him please uh, feel free to do that like i said he's one of those nigerians we cannot afford to lose like i'm telling you this guy is a voice and i wanted to use my platform to share about his story and share about his go fund me because i know some of you may not have heard about it or may not know about go fund me and uh, please do contribute as much as you can uh, um, i think i'll leave today's video here as always anything you want to say about this whole thing you know please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and with that i'm gonna say thank you for watching until the next time guys bye bye bye